feel like chicken tonight, like chicken tonight. Hello, everybody. I do feel like chicken tonight. My name is Tupperware Pete, Pete Williams. G'day, g'day. How you going? I'm going to make homemade chicken nuggets. Well, I'm going to attempt to make homemade chicken nuggets. I've never done it before, but how hard can it be, all right? Strap yourselves in. It's going to be a fun one. All right, so I'm going to do a homemade chicken nuggets. Then I'm going to do my Wombok Waldorf salad while the nuggets are cooking and then hopefully fingers crossed in an ideal world it will all come together beautifully at the end all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to chop up um everything using this product it's what's it called no need to ask it's a smooth chopperator it's a smooth chopperator it's called a supersonic chopper large or supersonic chopper extra or some I can't remember what it's called, but it's fantastic. It will chop up your carrot, sweet potato, potato, herbs. If you want to hide kale and mushrooms from yourself or the dogs or the partners or the kids, this thing will do it. It'll make up a beautiful champagne slushy. It'll do mocktails. You can do homemade ice cream in here as well. I've got a 15 second chocolate mousse recipe and I can do like a five second vanilla slice custard recipe. Did you see that video? Vanilla slice slice baby. Absolutely. Absolutely. So let's get cracking. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this. So pop the salad. This I'll talk about that in a moment. We'll just pop that over here. We'll pop that up here. What I'm going to do is in my Tupperware Vent Smart container, I've got a carrot. Now, do you ever? Has it? Do you get this in your fridge after like? eight weeks, nine weeks, ten weeks of uh, storing a carrot, the outside does get a little bit black and you think, I'm not going to throw that out. I paid good money for those carrots. I'm just going to peel the outside and what we will do is let's grab a... Oh, look. Have you seen the new... These come out every now and again, these little click peelers. I prefer, I prefer that horizontal one to a vertical one, but some people prefer... Um, the vertical one to the horizontal one. So if you've got people in your household that fight over which peel is the best, not a problem. <laughs> Just get this one and you've got one that accommodates everybody in your household, all right? We'll pop that back up there. And this is your peeler. You've got your little um, eye in there that you can remove. And watch this. This is the Tupperware Chop Collector or the Scrap Collector, which I think is brilliant, right? So you ready? Let's just grab the peeler backwards and forwards because it's a double... Just like the mandolins are a, 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 a double, I want to say a double-edged sword, but does that sound good? It's like a double, it's double-bladed. That's what I'm looking for. So just backwards and forwards. So it's going to be a lot quicker to peel your, your spuds or your, your, your veggies or your carrots or whatever. And um, look at that. All the scraps go straight into there. That can go into the compost or the chooks or it can go out um, on bin night or you can pop it in the in bin night right now, right? How awesome is that? We grab our carrot. I'm just going to grab a knife. I love these knives because they have a lockable protective cover to help protect, and it's gonna extend the life of the knife. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna top and tail that, right? That can go back into our chop collector. And I'm just going to chop this into chunks. Probably don't need the whole carrot, but I'm, but I'm going to use the whole carrot. I'm also, I've got an onion here. I'm just going to top and tail this onion. And remove those, those skins. Let's put this chop collector back up here. We're going to pop these, we'll pop that over here. Pop that over the side. We will pop all of our scraps straight into here and we will just grab our knife and we'll just remove these onion skins and we will peel that beautifully. How awesome is this? Let me know where you're watching from. I love finding where people are watching from. And um, we can, the Tupperware Pit YouTube channel is collecting a lot more international visitors, which is actually amazing. I'm loving it. Getting to meet people, getting to know you, getting to know all about you. And we're going to throw in some garlic from our Tupperware Garlic Keeper. I'm just going to... There we go. I've just got... Do you like garlic? I'm the type of person that says, one clove of garlic optional? No, five cloves of garlic a must, a necessity. All right, so I've got some garlic in there. I'll pop them back into there. And normally, I just keep the garlic press. This is the garlic press here. This is cool. I normally keep that in with the garlic there so that I don't have to run around the kitchen where, you know, where I'm... Um, 
looking for everything. And I also normally keep a vegetable peeler in with the potatoes. These are the onions. Pretend that's the potato keeper. But I normally just keep that in with the potatoes so I don't have to keep running around looking for the peeler. And when you're washed, instead of putting it back into the drawer, you just pop it straight back in with the, um, with the, with the potatoes where your peeler is. And um, all the garlic press, once you've washed that up, you just pop it back into the uh, where the garlic's kept. All right. How awesome is that? All right. So we've got our... We've got a couple of cloves of garlic. This... All I'm going to do is... Garlic, uh, garlic, onion, carrot, oop, the blades. Garlic, onion and carrot. And what I'm going to do is, in my Tupperware spinning shift, you'll be singing and spinning when the price is winning and when we're... All right, that's, a, that's another TikTok video. Have you seen that one? I've got some parsley that I've washed up. Now, if you've never used a salad spinner, because before Tupperware came out with a salad spinner, I'd never used a salad spinner. And then they came out with a salad spinner. I said, is that really necessary? If you wash your lettuce and your, all of your herbs, the amount of dirt that comes off it from the supermarket is amazing. Or even from the fruit shop, you wash that. I go to a fruit shop where the fruit and veggies are out on display and it's near a main road. So if you wash that in here in your salad spinner, give it a spin dry, the amount of dust and dirt that comes off what you're eating is incredible. I have definitely recommend a Tupperware salad spinner, absolutely. So we've got... I've got my parsley in there. What I'm going to do is, in the Vent Smart containers, I'm collecting all my parsley stalks because I use them in recipes. Because you're paying money for them. Why throw it out? So in this, I just want the leafy bits. So I'm just going to throw the leafy bits into there. All the stalks are going into my little Vent Smart mini, which is great for snow peas, Brussels sprouts, green beans, blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, um, and all of my mixed herbs as well. So we'll pop that into there. We'll, we'll just grab... Measured with love and from, <laughs> let's say, oh, I don't know, half a cup, three quarters of a cup, a cup, depending on your own personal taste. If you've got uh, other herbs that you like, parsley, thyme, sage, rosemary, <laughs> what do you store in your Tupperware? You can throw that in. Parsley, sage, rosemary and thyme. All right, so we've got onion, carrot, Parsley, garlic, a decent amount. Please respect the fill line, okay? <laughs> I just give mine a bit of a shake before I do that. And ready? That's 10 pulls of the cord, right? That's sort of, it's not, it's less than chunky, but it's chunkier than a fine dice. So what I'm going to do is pop that, oh, you should smell that garlic. That's awesome. Garlic and onion, carrot, parsley. Just give that a bit of a... There we go. Too easy. What you're going to do is pop the blades in upside down, Miss Jane. That protects the bench top from the mess and your hands from the blades. There we go. Look at that. Carrot, onion, garlic and parsley. What I'm going to do is these Tupperware would come out with a whole range of not only salad bowls but mixing bowls that double as salad bowls. I'm going to use one of these. When you're not using them, let me show you because they just stack down to the size of one bowl and you've actually got three bowls sitting in your pantry, right? Or your cupboard or wherever, or on top of the fridge, wherever you keep your bowls. I'm going to use the middle one for this recipe. And all I'm going to do is grab my Tupperware spatula. That's your double-sided, it's pointy on one side and it's curved on the other side. So it doesn't matter what type of jar or container or bowl you're scraping, it's going to fit into every little crevice, every nook and every cranny, all right? So we're gonna pop that straight into here. I'm just going to quickly, the spatula will lick the bowl for you and it will do the dishes as well. How awesome is that? <laughs> all right, so I've been doing Tupperware almost 30 years and people say, I couldn't cook like that. Tupperware taught me how to cook. Once you've got the, the right products and the correct tools in the kitchen, that's over half the job already completed for you. And all you've got to do is just pull the cord, assemble it and eat it. It's really that simple. All right. So look, see how amazing that spatula is. It actually gets rid of a lot of that um, in there. No waste whatsoever. So we've got that there. Let me show you now. We're going to put the blades back into here. Let me show you. We'll pop that up there. These are the Tupperware silicon bags. I've got my chicken in here. 
So these are the silicon bags. They go into the freezer, they go into the microwave oven, they go into the gas oven, electric oven, the wood oven, they'll go in a sous vide on the stove top. You can strap them to your backpack. They'll hold up to 10 kilos of weight. And uh, I took them with me overseas as traveling bags. You know, your toiletries, your shaving, they're heat resistant because they're silicon. They can go up to 220 degrees. So you can pop your GHD, your hair straightener into there, not a problem. <laughs> no more burnings. All right, open that up. It's a little zipper. I've got here, I've just put this one in the blue one because I didn't want like juice in the fridge while it was defrosting. So I've got, I've just got a little bit of juice into there, which protects the fridge as well. So we'll just pop that straight into the sink. This is what I had my chicken in. This is a kilo of chicken breast. It was on sale at the butcher. I went, oh my goodness, what a great price. I'm gonna get a kilo. So look at this. It's so satisfying. It's a little zipper that makes it airtight and liquid tight. And look at this. Oh. <laughs> Hang on a minute, let me do it this way. Ah, and there's our chicken, right? So all I'm going to do is grab our chicken and I've got, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna trim it. I'm not gonna do nothing with it. All I'm gonna do is just pop that straight into here, right? And we will pop the top on. Let me just give me, <laughs> give my hands a bit of a wash. And I'll dry them up in the Tupperware tea towel. I think they call it a dish towel. All right, so we've got this in here. We are going to, that's one chicken breast. Are you ready? Homemade chicken mince. <laughs> I know what I'm eating, <laughs> do you? <laughs> All right, so. Oh. <laughs> now, <the laughs> you wouldn't read about it. This is a perfect segue. If that ever happens, all you have to do is send it back and they'll give you a brand new one, right? How awesome is that? Tupperware still has a warranty, right? So what I should do, here's another one I prepared earlier. What I should do is maybe chop that chicken breast up in half so it's not putting so much pressure on my, on my supersonic chopper, all right? Oh my goodness. I tell you, the joys of live television. If it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen on camera, all right? So this is our chicken breast. Let me. I'm just going to chop this up into chunks. We, you know, you live and learn, I tell you, right? I've been doing Tupperware for 30 years and I'm still learning, almost 30 years, and I'm still learning, all right? So now maybe we'll just pop that into smaller pieces. I have done chicken mince before in the supersonic chopper and honestly, I can't remember what I did. So <laughs> um, maybe I should subscribe to the Tupperware Pete YouTube channel so that I can have a watch and re-watch re and <laughs> re-educate myself. All right, so there we go. We've got our chicken breast straight into there. Let's just give this a little bit of a wash. <laughs> That's good for the blooper reel. <laughs> All right, there's our chicken. We've got one chicken breast that we've diced up into there. All right, luckily, the mixture didn't go overboard, but the onion and <laughs> now I've got onions and garlic all over my lounge room floor. All right, so one, two. But can you see how if you don't if you don't prep up what you're doing, whether you're veggies or your meat, it will put pressure on that cord. And seriously, I can, where is it? This here, I can now just send, I can do a warranty claim and I can send that straight back to Melbourne. They'll send me a new one or they'll send me a voucher to buy a new one. How awesome is that, right? So, love it. Pull the cord. And we are just going to do homemade mince meat at home. Have I gone red? I think I... <laughs> I think I have. <laughs> Am I blushing? Oh my goodness. All right, so pull the cord. And what we're gonna do is, can you see, let me show you. This is awesome. I love making homemade mince. That is my chicken mince, right? That's just one chicken breast, right? So what I'm gonna do is pop that into here and I am going to throw in I'm gonna throw in another chicken breast. I've learnt my lesson this time, haven't I? All right, so what we're gonna do is, so this is about, it's two chicken breasts, so it's gonna be roughly 500 grams. Don't quote me. <laughs> it's, I, I, I use recipes as a guide, and then everything else, I just measure with love until the ancestors whisper, Peter, that's enough. <laughs> All right, so we'll pop that straight into here. We've got some bits of chicken. We will just pop this straight into, the chunks, 
like I said, I'm not trimming this. I'm not going to bother about that. I'm just going to leave it all in there. I mean, it's fairly well trimmed. I got it from the butcher and it was on sale. It was only $7.99 a kilo. And I thought, oh my goodness, chicken breast is $7.99 a kilo. I haven't seen prices like that in 30 years. So I totally recommend supporting a small business. Support your local butcher. I don't, I don't have shares in any butchers, by the way. <laughs> but I do like my butcher. I waved to him today, actually, as I walked past. All right, so let's just give this a bit of a wash. And let's pop that over here. And we'll just chop up this other chicken breast. Because I want chicken mince. And chicken mince was more expensive than the chicken breast. Go figure. All right, so... Let's pop the, let's remove all the evidence. <laughs> there we go. So. And the anti-slip grip on the bottom, that little rubber silicon ring, that stops it from sliding around on the bench top. True. Okay, there we go. He says as it's sliding around on the bench top. The bench does have to be dry, right? <laughs> okay. All right. There we go. We'll do that, we'll do that. There we go, no preservatives. You know what I'm eating, it's 100% chicken breast is what I'm eating, that's my minced chicken. I'm gonna pop that straight into here. And we will, let's get the rest of that. Use this, the double-sided spatula, that's gonna help us Get every skerrick out of there. Why it's not what not. So Tupperware really does make your family budget last that little bit longer. It makes the food, I mean, look at this. This is two chicken breasts. So instead of having like, you know, poaching a chicken breast or frying a chicken breast or baking a chicken breast and having that, this two chicken breasts, this is, this is now gonna make like bucket loads of chicken nuggets or chicken meatballs or whatever you, whatever you want, really. Right, let's move that out of the way. And we will. I love this here. You can use this as like a blade to fold through everything in your mix. So you can just slide that through, fold it through. That's gonna get everything through there. Now remember, we've got our carrot, we've got our parsley, we've got onion and garlic. That's what we've got mixing up with just some chicken breast that I chopped up in the supersonic chopper. We're doing like a homemade like a homemade meatball-y chicken nugget type thing. Now, I'm only putting in carrot and parsley and onion and garlic for a bit, not only for a bit of colour, but also for the flavour, and I'm trying to hide some veggies from myself. If you've got mushrooms, you could hide the mushrooms in there, kale, silver beet, spinach. We've got all sorts of things happening here. All right, so, we'll slide that through. There we go. Now, if you wanted to, you could get in there with your hands, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> there we go. So that's what we've got. So what we're going to do now is, let me just show you. Move this out of the way. I've got my three little, you know, these are the little Eco Plus clear bowls. These are the bowls that, you've heard me talk about a circular economy before. These will, instead of a linear economy, where you buy a product, you use it, and it ends up in landfill, this is a circular product. It's a circular economy. So you buy the product, you use it. Instead of throwing it away, you reuse it, and you reuse it, and you reuse it. Now, the origin of the product comes from landfill. Now, I know that might sound a bit weird and a bit gross, but it does. What they do is they take single-use plastic out of landfill. They treat it. They remove all of the impurities until they're left with the Tupperware ingredients. That's why Tupperware quality is so good. And then they create lunch boxes, drink bottles, straws, carry bags, and bowls, all right? So there's, there's a different size bowl for every job in the kitchen, right? And these stack down inside each other as well. They're the babush, the <laughs> babushka of, they're the babushka bowls of dolls. Babushka dolls of bowls, oh my goodness. <laughs> 
<laughs> Maybe I need to do a warranty on myself. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to remove these seals. And then in here, what we're going to do is I've just got a little bit of flour. This is the one touch fresh square. This is the large one. This will hold a kilo of flour. So I've got some gluten free flour in here. You can use whatever flour you want. I'm just going to put in a little bit of that. And then what I'm going to do is grab, I've got a couple of eggs. Luckily, they're the last two eggs in the, in the carton. There we go. I've just got a couple of eggs in here. Let's just pop them straight into there. And we will just give that a little bit of a whisk. Or <laughs> let's just grab a fork. Can't find the whisk at the moment. We'll whisk that up. And I love these bowls because you can seal them and then pop them in the fridge. So you don't even have to throw away your flour, egg, and you can just seal it up, pop it in the pantry or pop it in the fridge. And then next week you can come back and you can do, you know, chicken Kievs or you can do anything else that needs egging, flouring, and crumbing, right? Now, what I've got in here, this is my little bubby supersonic chopper. No need to ask, it's a sweet decorator. <laughs> These are the little ones, okay? So what we've got in here, we're going to, I'm going to do a little bit of Parmesan cheese. These are the clear mates. These are the ones that you can take straight to the deli. And then you can just um, bring home your clear mates instead of bringing home a single-use waste, right? Single-use plastic that ends up in landfill. You don't want to do that. So I'm just going to do careful cutting inside will help you. So we've got the Parmesan cheese. I'm just going to slice this up just into a few different chunks, right? I'm going to pop my Parmesan cheese straight into here. I really don't want to grate my fingers. So what I'm going to do is just pop this straight into here. Oh, move this aside. Step aside. I've got a bit of egg on the countertop, but that's okay. The anti-slip grip Tupperware comes to the rescue, right? I can feel the calories just slicing away as I pull the cord. All right. So I've got some. Look at that. There's nothing better than fresh parmesan. Look at that. How awesome is that? Grated parmesan. If you've got anything left over, you just seal that and pop it into the fridge. I've got some panko breadcrumbs. Now, the breadcrumbs are really quite... They're quite chunky. I don't want a chunky breadcrumb. I want a fine breadcrumb. So what I'm going to do is... Pop this straight into here. And I'm going to chop up my breadcrumbs and make them really fine. So about equal parts of um, panko and to parmesan, maybe a little bit more. So these are the ultra clear. I like them because the tops of them are flared, so it adds that grip into the Tupperware seal. This is an airtight Tupperware seal. And on the base here, they're slightly reinforced as well. It will um, tell you how much it holds. So this will hold a litre. Oh, wow. And they'll go into the fridge and in the pantry. All you have to do is grab the tab, peel the seal. They're very accessible, all right? So if you know anybody that has, um, has difficulties with removing the seal, this is so much easier. And it's still, like the Tupperware Modular Mates, going to extend the life of whatever you're storing in here. So it extends the best before date. Some people say up to five years, right? So there's that into there. What we're going to do is let's chop up our panko breadcrumbs. Right, there we go. And there, there's our breadcrumbs. How fine is that? You can use cornflakes. You can use, if you've got a sandwich loaf or whatever, you can do that as well. I just happen to have breadcrumbs in the pantry and we will, you know what we'll do? We will just seal this and just shake it up. <laughs> Now, you know the saying, if it's round, make a sound. If it's square, don't you dare. If it's square, leave it there. Never take the air out of a square. That is because our tummies are round. When we burp, we become liquid tight. Exactly the same as a round Tupperware. Once you express the air out of there, you do that little burp sound. That's now a liquid tight seal. So you can keep your fruit and yogurt in there. I can do my overnight chia oats in here. I can take it with me to work the next day or traveling. It's not going to leak. All right. So we're just going to mix that up. That's our parmesan and our breadcrumbs. 
Now all we do is, let's move this out of the way, we've got, this is the Micro Pro Grill. This is what I'm going to cook these nuggets in. It's a barbecue that goes into the microwave. Yes, it's made out of stainless steel, proper Tupperware stainless steel. Yes, it goes into the microwave. Yes, it's very safe. Yes, it will brown a chicken breast. Yes, it will cook a steak in eight, nine minutes, depending on the thickness of your steak. Yes, it will do crispy, crunchy bacon in six minutes, and you won't have to clean your entire kitchen after cooking breakfast. All the mess and splatter stays on the inside here, right? It's awesome. It's like a bumper car that goes into your microwave and that's why there's no metal that ever touches any metal and that's why it's totally safe. There's a ring in there. You can use that if you're going to do omelettes or cookies or pizzas or bacon and eggs or, um, did I say omelettes already? Mixed grills. This is brilliant. Okay, so we're not going to use that in here at the moment. You don't have to grease it at all. Never spray it with anything. Firstly, those spray oils, they're... They cost money, and then I don't know how healthy they are for you. Never, ever spray it with anything. This is called Eterna on the inside. It's not made with any acid. You know how Teflon, with Teflon, they use acid to make, create the Teflon? There's no acid in here whatsoever. It's totally non-toxic. It's totally safe, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to pop that down over here. All we need to do is grab our spoons. How cool is this? This is the fun part, right? <laughs> now that you've destroyed the entire kitchen, Peter. All right, what we're going to do is we are just going to grab our little spoon. We're going to do this here. You might want to do you might want to do it as a little meatball. Not a problem. What you're going to do is you're going to pop it into the flour. We're going to pop it into <laughs> I need another spoon. We're going to pop it into the flour. We're going to then pop it into our egg. Then we're going to pop it into our breadcrumbs and parmesan. <gasps> Yum. There is our homemade, homemade chicken meatball. Thank you very much. All you're going to do is just pop that straight into the Micro Pro Grill. Can you see it that way? <laughs> Slip slide in away. See how non-stick it is? It like literally slides everywhere, right? That's our little meatball. Now all we have to do, if we want to, you just grab your little grab your spoon. You make your own little nugget. Your own little chicken nugget. How cool is that? There's a little chicken nugget. So what we're gonna do is just continue making these. Little balls. You can make little ones, big ones. You can do... Imagine doing like a chicken meatloaf. And you know exactly what you're eating, right? So all we do is we let's grab this. We'll pop that into the flour. Can you see that? So that's... I'm just using gluten-free flour. If you had rice flour... If I had rice flour, I would be using rice flour. Because it goes nice and crispy. So we grab our rice flour. I mean our gluten-free flour. Let's throw the egg in there. Mix that up, pop that into there. Throw that into our parmesan and our breadcrumb mixture. Right? And there we go. Pop that into there. Mix. Oh, this is a big one. Big nugget, little nugget. <laughs> and how awesome is that? Pretty cool, hey? Yum oh! So let's just go and I'll show I want to put these in here because I am gonna do a very quick Waldorf salad. So let's just hurry up and do this. I've got I've got spoons everywhere. Alright, what's going on? Pop that into there. Let me know where you're watching from. And you know, is there a piece of Tupperware that you use? Or maybe there's a piece of Tupperware that you own that you don't use. It's like, what am Tupperware Pete, help! <laughs> How do I use this product? Or maybe you've got your eye on something and you think, oh, I'm not too sure if I want to get that or not. Will I use it? Or what can I use it for? Just sing out and ask me. I can do a video on it. Chances are I've got it, <laughs> right? Um, there is nothing in my kitchen that isn't Tupperware. Everything in my kitchen is Tupperware. Um, so it's definitely... 
the way to go if you want to know how to use a particular product. So, here we go. Actually, the ice cream scoop would be good for doing this, wouldn't it? The Tupperware ice cream scoop. Or there's portion scoops. They would be cool. Can you see I've now, <laughs> I've now thrown caution to the wind. The spoon is now in there. I'm not going to use the spoon. Oh, well, I am actually for this egg bit. Pop that into there. Coke that in the egg. Lift that up. Let that drain a little. Into the parmesan and the panko. Yum oh. All right, so I think I, what I might do is just do another video of the salad <laughs> because this is going to take a while. <laughs> so look at that. So there, look, you know, and you can get as neat or creative as you like. There's a big chicken nugget. There's a little chicken nugget, right? Or if you wanted to, you could just stick to the meatball idea and just do your chicken meatball. But does that give you an idea of how you can eat Especially if you've got fussy eaters, you know. I'll only eat a chicken nugget. Now you can get the veggies into them. You can, you know exactly how, what sort of chicken you're, you're feeding them, right? This is just chicken breast, which I've minced up in the supersonic chopper with a carrot, onion, celery, parsley. And I'm just doing, I'm doing flour, egg, breadcrumb, and parmesan. Just because I love parmesan. I mean, you can leave that out. If, you, if, if there's a particular food that you don't like, then you can substitute it or you can just leave it out, right? And then there are my... Let me just wash these hands. There are my... There's a few chicken nuggets. If you want to do a few more chicken nuggets, why not use the top of the Ultra Pro? This is the Tupperware that goes into the oven as a roasting dish. Just do your nuggets in here. Just stick that in the oven and bake that up. These are non-stick as well. So clean up is really simple, right? How easy is that? So you can use these to make a, a, a like a banana bread or a lasagna or a potato bake or an apple crumble or a peach cobbler or nachos. You might want to bake a fish on here. There's big ones. There's little ones. There's two litre ones. There's five seven five point seven litre ones. Their options are limitless, right? Now, if I'm not ready to finish all of this... Someone just came over with pizza. I bought the chicken nuggets. Let's have some pizza. All right. What we're going to do is just grab a... Grab the Tupperware seal. Seal that. Pop it in the fridge. Too easy. If you've got any questions or suggestions, please let me know. Give me a like, a follow, and a subscribe. I'm going to cook these. I'm going to put photos up on my... Um, I'll put photos back up on my Facebook profile, on my Instagram. If you want to be included in the customer update list, just send me a message with your email and I'll include you in the customer update list. And as you're binge watching the Tupperware Pete YouTube channel, you know what you need to do. Forget your troubles and get happy. Dance your cares away. Shout out and get happy. I'll see you all another day. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.